Welcome to Ocom Sales Inc. Sales Tips for Exact Vision Technologies. Today we're going to use our Exact Vision video management software to show some of the live viewing and playback features of the system. We're going to start out with our thick client, which appears on the desktop of our Windows computer, and we have created a live viewing display that incorporates an Aircont Vision 20 megapixel panoramic on the bottom pane and in the upper right hand corner an event monitor that when a alarm is activated the video will appear. And we're going to do that straight away. I have created a soft button in the top ribbon bar of the exact menu and when I select this item it's going to actually turn on the disco ball via contact closure. The initiation of that disco ball will cause it to appear in the video monitor pane but also generate a video clip to go along with it. I'm going to turn off the disco ball by selecting the soft trigger a second time and I can even go into the video clip that was created for us so that I can quickly take a look at what may have displayed for us. Once I've identified the information I'm looking for in the video clip. I'm going to play back this disco ball and I want to create a video clip of this one image. I'm going to do a right click over the playback window and click mark export start. This is a three step process. I'm going to scroll forward my scrub video bar and right click over the desktop again and click mark export stop and now right click a third time export video and it'll even tell me how big the video file is so I can determine if I might be able to email that or put that on a DVD or a flash drive. I'm going to export this video to my desktop on my computer where I've even created already an exact menu and I'm going to have it take this image and overwrite an existing video file I've already got in that folder. So now that my video clip's been made I'm going to go ahead close this image and I'm even going to confirm, acknowledge the disco ball and clear that out. And while all this was happening, an email was generated to my email server so that either via mobile, handheld, iPad, iPhone, Android, or just desktop, I'd be able to go in and get an email alarm which has an associated video link and an attached video clip the associated video link when I select that it will take me to a point on the web server portion of the exact vision system and I can start that web server up to stream the video back to my desktop I'm going to actually fast forward it with a scrub bar to the area where we see motion activation and as this scrolls forward this camera alarm will appear on my desktop so that link brought me right to the camera and to the point in time when the event took place so that I can play back more video to get more information over what may have happened by streaming it to my desktop. At the same time it also had an attachment attached which gives us a couple of clips a very small file averages 50 to 150 K in size. We don't know how big the user's service would be for accessing video so now when I go into my system and I look into my exact folder I will have a video clip giving me just a very brief image in an MOV format. So how did this happen? This is our exact vision desk client. It also gives you the opportunity to make configuration changes. If you have administration privileges you can make all the settings operate and I started with a button on my top ribbon bar. That button is now a switch and the switch of that button is associated with an event trigger called disco ball test. Disco ball test will actually fire an output relay on the exact hybrid server to turn on and off a contact closure to initiate the disco ball. So to get there two things had to happen. I had to create this button and give it an icon and a name and associate it with an event. Once applied it appears on my top ribbon bar here. The second thing that had to happen in the setup was that I needed to have an actual motion activation take place 
because I want to read that motion activation as an alarm to send my email notification. So if I go to the actual camera in Disco Ball, I'm going to create a motion activation area on my Disco Ball so that I see a motion activated event either as an alarm trigger which I'm using for a notification or to initiate recording on my server. The third thing that had to happen was I had to have email established with my system of notifications. To do that I establish a standard SMTP type email address where I want to send email from and I then want to acknowledge where is the web server that I want to find the streaming video so I can go back and play back the video on my handheld device or desktop and then I create an actual profile in this case a, a disco ball notification named as such who do I want to have that sent to what addresses and what information do I want to have up here in that email or that notification usually the name of the camera an attached video clip here's the attached preview button and a time and a date are all very useful in that transmission. Once I have notification profiles established, I go to finally my event linking. In event linking, this is the secret sauce to the exact vision where I can make multiple things happen. And if this, then that event. For example, I created a button on my top ribbon bar called Soft Trigger. Here is the event called Disco Ball Test, where I created that soft trigger, and I wanted it to trigger the output trigger on the hybrid. So I established a new event that would, for a soft trigger, take the Disco Ball camera, fire the output trigger to the Disco Ball again to turn it on and off as a contact closure. The next event link that I created was an OCOM notify on Disco Ball. In this case, I used a different source of event, motion, video motion, activation. Upon video motion activation, which is when the disco ball turns on, I have it actually then send the disco ball as a notification with its embedded information to my email. That way I can get it on my handheld, my iPad, my tablet, my desktop. Now all of these features are working together along with a fourth item event monitoring. Event monitoring is similar to event linking only it's only for my live video desktop. When I wanted to have the camera appear on my desktop and auto create uh, a short video clip that I could easily watch or make a video copy of, here in event monitoring I set the same type of establishment. Based on video motion, again, my disco ball, only this time I like to switch the video to the window of my disco ball on my desktop. So, and I even gave it a message, please acknowledge the disco ball when it comes in. Putting these items together enabled me to create a desktop in a live view. And here what I've actually done is I've also created a custom layout where I've created a pane at the bottom for the Aircon panoramic for windows without borders. Yet the upper left hand window is a live window for the disco ball so that when I fire the soft button at the top it will turn on the disco ball which in result activates the motion detection which creates an email notification and in my event monitor list pre-creates this video clip for me to easily go back and discover the video make a video clip take a picture and get it the information out now you can have multiple video clips up to 16 cameras in a live view and you can also create maps. In the mapping mode of our factory if that disco ball were to fire I have an icon in the area of the location of my disco ball and in that mapping area if I were to fire the disco ball it would actually activate blue as a motion color on the map indicating there's movement within the area of that camera and if I double click on that camera it also will take me straight to the disco ball image. Another way of easily finding the disco ball so I can manage many cameras in an environment. This has been an OCOM Sales Exact Vision desktop example. Thank you for watching.